Why do you think these, these very powerful men were against you? Well, I, for Tom Collins, there's a specific reason. He came to me last year and said, you know, I, he had been helping in Gary in 2011 very early, saying that, um, you know, he, he, in fact, he led our EDC for about six months, and then he abruptly left. Um, he came back about a year ago and said, you know, I feel bad that I left. I still want to help, um, and, you know, I think I can be helpful with the casino. And, you know, when somebody disappears for seven years and they come up and all of a sudden they show up when the money shows up, I'm like, okay. So he said, well, I'm going to go down and see what's happening in Indianapolis. Well, he went down and told them, that I wanted him to be a part of the casino deal. That was never our conversation. He never asked me what I thought about that. He, you know, the premise was always, I want to see how I can help Gary and make sure that the city is assisted. And so um, when I said, well, no, I don't, you know, I can't insert you into a private deal. That's something that you can work out with the new owners or not. I, you know, I, that's not my job to do. Then he came back and he said, well, here's what I think you should do. Tell Spectacle, Rod Radcliffe, that you're okay with them taking both Gary licenses out of the city and ask the governor for a third license. Now, anybody know, that knows anything about gaming in the state of Indiana knows that it was a hard, li heavy lift just to move it from the Buffington Harbor area to land base. So to think that they were going to add an additional license, that they were going to expand gaming, was simply naive and, quite frankly, not in the best interest of the city. Why would I give away two licenses that were rightfully in the city from the beginning of gaming in this state? When I said no, um, his entire posture changed. And he went and supported Jerome. And, you know, I think that the focus of the Times, they put the handwriting on the wall when they said that the state needs to take over Gary. That has been their mantra, and I don't know that it will change. Now, you know, I think that it was easier for someone like a Jerome uh, from their perspective than it would be from for someone like me who has a pre-existing relationship with the governor because the governor was very clear. He said, no, I'm not interested in that. He said, I want to be helpful. I want to be supportive, but I'm not interested in taking over Gary. 